data? Big Wireless brags about having the fastest or largest 4G network in the nation. Out here, their 4G is a mirage. Don't be fooled by Big Wireless. Union has true high-speed data in the places you live, work, and play. Hello again and welcome to the Dave Christensen Show, brought to you by Union Wireless with contract buyout. Get paid to switch. That's it. Cowboys had a bye week after the, North, after the Texas State game, came home. Now the next game up for the Cowboys will be homecoming this coming Saturday against New Mexico. No game last Saturday, had that bye week. It's not an off week by any means uh, for Cowboy football. Did you get everything done you kind of wanted to, Coach? Yeah, I think so, Dave. We, uh, we had three practices. I got a chance to rest up uh, our starters, uh, get uh, an early start on the game plan. A lot of developmental work with uh, guys from the second team down. And uh, so I thought it was a productive week, and uh, you know, guys got a chance to get caught up academically, and uh, uh, we're back on track again this morning, back into game week. And this was kind of the plan. You wanted to get some work for those uh, backup guys. You never know when they're going to have to step in there. And also, as you said, rest for the starters. So uh, you did get a lot of work done with the non-starters in a very positive way. We did. They uh, they they got the majority of the reps um, last week on Tuesday, Wednesday. We practiced for about 50 minutes with our our, our starters. And then uh, they went in and worked on their bodies, and the rest of the team stayed out and practiced. And, uh, and I think uh, we did a lot of things to get better. Saturday, we went back to a normal full padded practice, had a good physical practice on Saturday morning. And uh, then, like I said, back on track uh, this morning uh, in, in preparation for the New Mexico game. Well, we thought going into this bye week that it would be great for the Cowboys uh, just to kind of heal up, as you said, rest up, but also heal up those nagging bumps and bruises types injuries. And that seems to have uh, certainly taken place this past bye week. Yeah, I think uh, we will be in great shape uh, going into this week's game, and everybody should be healthy and uh, and feeling fresh again. And uh, we got a three-week stretch where we're, we've got three uh, straight conference games, and then uh, we go into another bye before we finish the final four weeks of the season. Yeah, also getting uh, going to go into this New Mexico game, into the homecoming game on Saturday, pretty healthy, really as healthy as you've got a, a few guys that are going to miss the season. You knew that coming into this week. But really getting everybody back and coming in with a full complement, it would seem. Yeah, we should have uh, you know, our, our entire starting group in there and, and uh, uh, be fresh and, and ready to go. And, uh, um, yeah, we're, we're in good shape uh, health-wise right now. You know, you said that you were going to get a little extra time to prepare maybe an early jump preparing for New Mexico. And that's one of the, certainly one of the other benefits of the bye week. You got a, kind of an early jump on the Lobos? Yeah, we did. We got the chance to, to, to view some film and, and, and start working on the game plan a week ago. And... Uh, um, you know, and then we got the game from this past weekend, and so uh, we got an early jump on them. Got a few extra reps uh, in preparation for them, but uh, you know, the rest of this week is going to be crucial for us. Spirited workouts, spirited uh, comeback. Yeah, for the yeah we, we got uh, you know good enthusiasm out there. It was even better today now that we're back in game week, and uh, um, I think they're excited about uh, you know their opportunity this week. Uh, you bet. Well, stay with us. We have more to come here on the Dave Christensen Show. In fact, when we come back, Kevin McKinney will be here. He'll be talking with Cowboy linebacker Mark Enzacha. That's all coming back at you on the Dave Christensen Show right after this. When you book at FlyFrontier.com, you get great stuff. Like exclusive fares, more miles. A free carry-on. You even get to pick your seat. And everyone likes to pick their seat. I know I do. Once I pick my seat right smack dab in the middle of... Stop! Stop. Grizz, we're talking about picking your seat on the plane. Wait, you pick your seat on the plane? Now that's disgusting! Get more perks, lower fees, and a free carry-on. Book today at flyfrontier.com. Welcome back, everybody. This is a fun part of our show. We get to meet a Cowboy player, and we have a good one with us today, Mark Nzacha, Cowboy linebacker, and he's just really come along to become quite a player for the Cowboys. And Mark, I know uh, you've had two weeks to kind of get over the last outing, and uh, uh, you've probably done that and now looking forward to New Mexico. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, right after the game was pretty much, I mean, 
it was disappointing loss, but stuff like that happens. And right away, I was like, okay, we have conference play ahead of us. And, you know, from that point on, just look forward to it. You've been uh, at several positions on defense, really, and, and obviously have found a home mm -hmm. where you are. Uh, what is it about the linebacker position that, uh, that really seems to fit you, would you say? Um, what fits me the best probably is to, um, I still, being a Sam, I still get to um, cover a lot. You know, I get to blitz a lot, which I would, where I can use my speed. Definitely helps. And also just like, I don't know, just being in the mix, you know, being in the run fits, and just the whole package as a whole. And I think as a whole, um, everybody feels better about uh, the defense now. And uh, what, what do you think w it was uh, all about? Uh, what happened there that got the defense to come together, do you think? I mean, I think um, everyone being the second year, like this defense installed, everyone is like getting the concept of it now. Everyone is like, um, you know, committed to it. You know, every, like we're such a tight defense. We like hang out together, you know, we go out to dinner together, you know, that like plays into it too as well, I think. Uh, you're a, a guy that is a true student athlete and uh, I know you're very proud of that uh, finance major who uh, does very, very well in school. It is important to you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no about, doubt about it. Um, I want to like do good in both phases, you know, like you said, being a good student as well as a good stu um, athlete, you know, trying to just trying to take care of business when, you know, in every field. You know, you uh, probably gonna have football going on for a while, mm -hmm. uh, but when it's all over, uh, whatever point that is, uh, what would Mark and Zacha like to do uh, in, the, in the real world? Um, definitely go out in the corporate world, you know, um, p pursue like some kind of um, position with my degree. I'm actually um, trying to get my master's once I'm done with my undergrad and then just go out in the business world being from, I mean, the open doors from being a CEO, being a um, financial manager. manager. I wouldn't doubt you'll be a CEO one of these days. <laughs> uh, you, of course, are from Germany. You yeah. and your brother both o over here. And uh, I, I'm a little curious, um, the style of play over there, mm -hmm. uh, did they run offense like you see here as a linebacker? Was it quite a bit different? Was it more run-oriented, pass-oriented? Uh, what was it like uh, I football in Germany? Mm -hmm. I mean, I would say it was pr pretty much uh, I would, they were trying to do, play like, you know, college football is kind of like um, what they look up to, you know. I mean, obviously our coaches, I mean, they, they kind of know what they're talking about. So they kind of they imit, try to imitate college football. So we did run and pass the ball, but definitely not, um, didn't have the, all the knowledge about it, you know, not like the schemes and everything. It was just so much slower. We don't have the athletes. So, I mean, it's definitely, different, it's yeah. slower, not as physical and all that. Did you uh, see yourself as a defensive guy when you were thinking about coming over or did you really just want to get over and play football? Um, I always saw myself as a defensive guy. Um, I mean, I, back home I played um, both ways, but just because um, um, I pretty much just you know, got thrown into office just because we needed some speed there, you know, in the receiver position, just some like, just all I did was just like running straight, you know, just straight down the field and, you know, call touchdowns. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I always thought like the mentality is all defense. Uh, one quick one about the Lobos. Uh, this is a team that loves to run the football, obviously, yeah. and uh, that's been an area that the Cowboys have had struggles with in the past. Uh, your view on it, I'm sure you've seen some tape by now. Uh, wh what do you think of the New Mexico running game? Um, we definitely have to respect it. I mean, they come in um, in this game, I think, being the number one rushing attack in the nation. Um, great running back, good quarterback who can like read the option and, you know, um, it's going to be a um, great challenge, I believe, you know, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, we're looking forward to it too. Appreciate you being on with us. Mark and Zacha, Cowboy linebacker, um, extraordinary, I would say. And, uh, we're looking forward to a big game this weekend. Stay with us. We've got Dave and Dave coming up next talking about the Lobos.
outside of the actual playing, all I did was introduce the sport to youth and coach my team. Now my team I was on, I was really about middle, middle of the road in age. I had a, my right guard playing next to me, I was playing center. My right guard next to me was around 38. Uh, we had a tackle on our team that was about 40 that had eight kids. I was 23, fresh out of college. Um, so I was actually kind of one of the younger guys on the team coaching guys older than me, which I'd never done. I only coached high school at that point. Um, so when I wasn't playing, I was traveling the country, um, really kind of immersing myself in as much of the culture as I could. I knew, I really didn't know I wanted to be a coach until probably my senior year. Um, my dream was always law school and I wanted to be an agent. Um, and then I started thinking about not being involved directly with football and I couldn't really imagine doing anything else. Uh, I always coached high school over the summers when I went home because we didn't have mandatory or voluntary summer ball at all. Uh, I didn't have summer classes so I was always at home back in Seattle coaching high school camps and stuff. Um, and then when I started thinking about not having that, I knew that you know, my life would have been empty without it. The transition was pretty smooth, I think. Uh, we didn't change the offense at all. Um, and then really my work last year as a graduate assistant was all the behind the scenes of the offense. So I learned the offense and I learned the playbook inside and out without directly coaching it to anybody. So it actually gave me a year learning this offense and this terminology without being directly responsible for anybody on the field, just helping out other position coaches uh, and working through practice and working through meetings. So it kind of gave me a little bit of a weaning period in this program and how Coach Christensen runs his program before I really took over my own room. So it was fairly simple, um, the transition over. Um, I enjoyed a lot more, kind of having my own responsibility, having my own room. Um, and it's really kind of made me appreciate uh, what the coaches on staff did the second I kind of took over my own room from being a GA and being behind the scenes and everything. Well, it's a big game for the Cowboys coming up at Saturday, on Saturday in War Memorial Stadium. 1.30 the kickoff. It's Cowboy homecoming as they take on the New Mexico Lobos. And uh, Coach, this is a, a, a good football team. Coming off a big win, scored 60-something their last time out. So uh, the, I think the one thing about the Lobos we've been hearing and uh, you can tell us a little bit more about this. This is a better New Mexico team, isn't it? Yeah, they're a much improved team. Uh, they lead the country in rushing offense, and so uh, you know they do a great job of, of running the football. They're not going to throw out a whole bunch. They'll try to you know get you to come up on the run and pop one over your head. So you got to be very disciplined and, and, and keep everything in front of you. But uh, uh, they're a much improved football team. It's going to be a, a, a big task force on Saturday, and uh, we're going to have to play extremely well defensively, assignment sound, and, and offensively we got to get it rolling again. We got to get back on track and get the ball in the end zone. And you talk about New Mexico's offense they will run a little bit of option but it's nothing like the Air Force option much different yeah it's a different attack but uh, it's certainly uh, obviously a very good one because uh, you know they've had a lot of success rushing the football this year and uh, you know they're rushing for for you know quite a few yards uh, and yeah. uh, you know we're just gonna have to be sound in our option responsibilities on Saturday well as you said the Cowboy fans that come to watch the cow that's who we want to see as the Cowboys play on Saturday of course in War Memorial Stadium but uh, Cowboy fans will also get a load of the conference's leading rusher, Casey Carrier, probably even better than he was last year, huh? Yeah, he is, and he's got a you know good surrounding cast, and so you know it's a big game for us. A big game for a lot of reasons. One, we want to stay uh, undefeated in, in the Mountain West Conference. We got a chance to go to two and zero, and you know our goal for the season is to be undefeated in War Memorial Stadium, and we have an opportunity on Saturday to get to three and zero, and and that's what our goals are. I know the easy thing to do here at this stage of the season would probably be look ahead a little bit, you're back into conference play, the rest of them from here on out are conference games. But uh, uh, for so many reasons, this New Mexico game is the most important game on the schedule. Huh? Absolutely, it's the next one, and if you want to compete for a conference championship, you got to win conference games, and this is our, our next conference game, and so uh, biggest game on our schedule. It's nice to be home, I'm thinking, and it's homecoming, and a lot of folks will be coming to see the game that uh, maybe pick one game a year. Homecoming can sometimes be that game, but uh, it is nice to be playing in War Memorial Stadium, home of lightning delays, but uh, <laughs> still, nice to be back in the war. Well, the weather looks like it should be pretty good this weekend, so uh, I don't think there'll be any delays, and we certainly would love to have a filled stadium uh, you know, for our, our, our next conference game. So come on back next time around and catch highlights of the Cowboys and the New Mexico Lobos. It's homecoming. Again, kickoff 1.30 this Saturday in War Memorial Stadium. Well, that'll do it for us, the Dave Christensen Show, all brought to you by Union Wireless. Trade in your old phones. And get paid. That'll do it for us. For the head coach, I'm Dave Walsh. So long, everybody.
data. Big Wireless brags about having the fastest or largest 4G network in the nation. Out here, their 4G is a mirage. Don't be fooled by Big Wireless. Union has true high-speed data in the places you live, work, and play. 